Today, my dear family, today we have an invitation from the Lord himself. We hear, we hear him telling his disciples to proclaim what he teaches from the rooftops, to bring the light, the truth that he teaches to others, to preach the gospel. He asks them to be not afraid, to not deny him before others, to acknowledge him before others. If, if we do so, he tells them that he will acknowledge them before the Father in heaven. However, he also tells them, tells them the opposite. He tells them that if they deny our Lord, he will also deny us before his Father. Sometimes, sometimes at work or sometimes in school or with our friends, family, or anyone whom we may encounter, sometimes we may also deny our Lord in our life. Maybe there is a joke being told, a joke that is making fun of the faith or of Christ or of the church. And, and we just laugh at that joke for fear of what others may think. Maybe, maybe the opportunity presents to us to defend our faith when we hear someone criticizing it, yet we avoid that opportunity for fear of what others may think. However that, however that fear looks like, at the end of the day, we, we fear people more than what we believe. We fear rejection. We fear that others may deny us. But our Lord, our Lord in today's gospel, he tells us and he wants us and he commands us to acknowledge him, to not deny him, to be not afraid, to be not afraid of just being Catholic. He, he wants us to become evangelizers. He wants us to bring the good news to whom he loves, the good news to all the peoples, to all the nations, the news that he loves us, the news that he forgives the news that he is merciful, the news that he wants to bring us back to him in heaven. Today, today, my dear family, we may not live, we may not live in a physical persecution like the disciples did in their time. Yet the disciples did live in persecution and they acknowledged God. They many times were killed because of acknowledging him because of preaching his good news, because of preaching the message of love, the message of forgiveness, the message of divine love. You see, my dear family, we preach a message that is not just any type of love, but divine love, sacrificial love, a love that makes demands on us, and at the very minimum, a love that wants us to love him back. Maybe... Maybe next time that we hear someone poking fun at the church or poking fun at the faith or at Christ himself, maybe we respectfully say that it makes us uncomfortable. Or we tell them simply that we are Catholics and that is offending us. Maybe the next time that the opportunity presents, we defend our faith and we preach love and we preach the gospel. Let us preach the truth, but let us preach this truth with love, as St. Paul tells us in his letters. Let us become evangelizers. Let us go out around the world preaching the good news, proposing, not, impo not imposing, proposing the faith, not imposing the teachings. Let us be not afraid of those who can harm our body, but in fact, let us be afraid of the one who can harm the soul. Let us just be Catholics.